what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about how the narcissist wants you to be miserable and why do they feel that way about you the person who they so claim to be such a good friend to them and such a good person well don't always think because a person is telling you something to your face that that's how they really feel about you they're doing that to you to keep you along as supply. They feel like that they need to butter you up, to keep you around. But trust me, those type of people you also have to be careful with because they show a very ugly side of them to other people. And they're speaking ill of you to other people. Remember when I told y'all about the three-way conversations? And how I was just so thrown off by that. It's like I've known this person to always have this thing about them to where they love to gossip. And they love to make three-way calls and have conversations with their own family, their own children on three-way. And it's like, don't you think you are, you know, you, you're doing a little bit too much. And this should be a private conversation. But when it happened to me, I was just like, why are you doing this to me? What's the point of calling me on three-way with someone? And I, I figured it out that it was all just a way for them to pretend like they care so much about my well-being, which they don't. They need to pretend to feel that way. They need to put on an act to outside people so that when that time come back around, and you stop messing with that narc, that person will say, well, I remember that they called and checked on you, you know, so that's why they have to set the scenery up that way to fool the outside people. But see, what you know what makes it so hard for me sometimes to speak on this is because I see things that are very, very, very hard to, you know, convince other people that it exists, that it is happening. It's hard to show this type of stuff to other people. It's like it's it's only meant for my eyes. And I'm not just talking about my, my physical, my eyes. I'm not talking about that vision. I'm talking about a spiritual vision. And that's why sometimes it is hard for me to explain myself because it's something that's really meant for me to see, you know. And I'm just so glad that I'm able to pinpoint certain things out and with sharing this information, I really, really hope that I'm helping people. You know, I try to explain myself the best way I can so you can understand that people are not what they put out to be. You know, what they present themselves to be. You know, they're not all that innocent. They just want people to think that they are so kind and caring and considerate. And they're not. Narcissists do a lot of things, you know, like the, um, the do-gooders. Because they need to be looked at as in that way. But then they, you can tell through the conversations and their tone, their true personality. And their true personality is so far from what they put out there. They know who to pull the wool over. They know who they can fool that way. They know they can pull the wool over your head and change their voice. And you will believe that it's not them. But they can't do that to me, you know. And so that's why I talk about this so much in a way to where I feel like, like in my videos, I really try to get people to go inside of the narcissist's mind and see that's hard to, that's just hard to pinpoint out certain things about narcissists to people, you know, in that way. Because it can get confusing when it comes to just a normal person who may show some of those character traits, but they are not a narcissist. But from what I explain to you, I can best explain it to you so you can really get it through my own personal experience. Trust me, I'm not always trying to talk about people in my everyday life, you know, because it'll sound like, dang, all you have in your life is bad people. And that just may be true because narcissists, they're not going to give up just because I was able to you know, pinpoint out one and, um, you know, remove myself from them. Doesn't mean that others are not going to come into my life. 
they're here and they're here to stay. They've been here from the beginning of time. They're going to be here when I'm dead and gone. So I'm just saying what to look out for. And they are so miserable to the point where, you know, again, I'm going to give y'all an example from something that happened to me recently. So I'm not at the regular school that I'm working at because they always need me in this other position, a higher position that I work sometimes when people are out. And I've been fighting against that because I'm not getting the pay for the position, you know. And so it's like, but at the same time, the job needs to be done. I do it and I'm just holding out on, you know, when that, that opportunity comes where I look, be like, look, y'all going to have to start paying me for this. But I do it because I like the work. It's not always about the money first. That's an automatic giving. So I'm just being patient and I'm patiently waiting on when my time will come for that. If it's for me, if it's meant to be, it'll happen. But I don't need anyone to tell me when to speak on something and how to act. Because sometimes people, People will give you bad advice on purpose just to see you mess yourself up. You know, they will intentionally pretend like they're on your side. They're in your corner and they really don't want to see you win. And that's how narcissists are when they're miserable. So you got to be careful what you share with them. You know, again, recently I was working. So I've been working somewhere else all this week and it's been rough. It's been so rough. I haven't been able to do nothing when I get home, but just get in the shower, get a little quick bite to eat and go straight to bed. I even felt myself losing a little weight, which I'm happy because I fast anyway. But, you know, yeah. So the thing about it is the person knew that I needed another body, you know, at this site. And the person they called me and was like, Someone called me and told me that they seen an opening at your site. Um, I didn't know that you were short a couple of people. And I said, yeah, we kind of shorthand. We working with the skeleton crew, you know, and, and work has been rough. It's been really rough. And I've been getting out of there late, you know. And so it's just like I do it. I, and, you know, they're quick to give you advice. I wouldn't do it if I ain't getting paid and stuff like that. It's like they want you to just give up, but you got to do what's best for you. At the same time, she was like, so um, I didn't know that, though. Yeah, but you want me to call her on through it? And I said, no, you don't have to tell her anything. You know, if she accepts it, she accepts. If she don't let her uh, reject the offer on her own because it's on the website, she calls the girl. And then she calls me back and she was like, yeah, she says she's not going to take it. So she did that just to make it harder on me because she hate my strength. It's like she it's like the person that I am. It intimidate, you know, it's like not intimidate her. It. It kind of threatens her. She's not as strong as she want to be. And it shows that. When she see what I'm willing to go through and what I'm willing to put up with, she's not mentally able to do that. So she don't want to see me succeed in it. See, that's how miserable people are. But you got to really pay attention to their strategy. because They're very slick. They're not smart. They're just slick. And it'll go clean over your head if you get caught up in the conversations with them. So this wasn't just someone she just wanted to call and have a quick word with. She called her so that she can put in a word that she's having it hard over this. So if I was you, I wouldn't go. But at the same time, this so-called narc, they call themselves your friend. This is the image that they put out there. They're not your friend. They're trying to sabotage what you got going on. They want you to be as miserable as they are. That's the whole reason why they do that. That's a whole part of the campaign. They're campaigning even when they don't have, you know, the crew behind them. They can campaign just as good on their own. You know, it's just another form of a smear campaign. 
So I just wanted to speak on that real quick and I will talk to y'all soon.